encourage you to share this right away. Uh, thank you, partners, for standing with us. Thank you for being a part of this broadcast. We're reaching millions of people, and I'm so honored that we get to because I just know lives are being changed. But look at this with me, if you would. Let's go into this clip talking about where some of the Terry's are being located around this nation to set up shop with their special cells to bring out destruction. Let's take a look at this as Bridget Gabriel begins to label it for us where it's at. Watch this. To all of you who are wondering why we should care about what's happening in the Middle East, you should care because it has a large network of cells spreading all across America. According to intelligence, they have cells in Boston, Maryland, New York, Laurel, Maryland, Potomac, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Hennerden, Virginia, Springfield, Virginia, Raleigh, North Carolina, Boca Raton and Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Ohio, Charlotte, North Carolina, Orlando and Tampa, Florida, Detroit, Michigan, Houston, Columbia, Missouri, Plainfield, Illinois, Kansas City, Chicago, Denver, Oklahoma City, Arlington, Texas, and Dallas, Texas, Tucson, Arizona, Seattle, Washington, San Francisco, Santa Clara, Los Angeles, and San Diego in California. Here's an excerpt from the charter published in August of 1988. This is Article 22, which talks about their enemies, which includes us Americans. Quote, our enemies have planned from time immemorial in order to reach the position they've obtained now. They strive to collect enormous material riches to be used in the realization of their dream. With their money, they've gained control of the international media, beginning with news agencies, newspapers, and publishing houses, broadcasting stations. They also use this wealth to start revolutions in different parts of the world in order to fulfill their interests and reap their fruits. With their money, they created secret organizations that spread around the world in order to destroy societies and carry out their interests. Such organizations are the clubs, clubs, are you interested yet? Bnebis and the likes. All of them are destructive organizations. With their money, They've taken control of the imperialistic states and pushed them by many countries in order to exploit the wealth of those countries and spread corruption there. End quote. How many of you club members, club members, know that you are mentioned in the charter who is calling for your destruction just as much as they call for the destruction of Israel? Wake up, America. That's why we need to stand with Israel. Now, there's a lot to consider in that clip, a lot. Now, I just have to say to you, she labeled the cities, she labeled places, and of course, it could be well beyond this, but I have to say, I've had this word about Decapolis for some time. Decapolis, now, every week on Saturday, I do a special program called Full Disclosure, where we go into these things, we talk about it, we can, we're limited with how far we can go here, for various reasons that you may understand. Um, but on that one, and I encourage you right now to get the Joseph Z app. We recently had uh, 4,600 people on the Joseph Z app live, and we're gonna be able to have accumulated numbers that we can show you so you watch it afterwards and you see those numbers. Um, we're updating the app all the time. It's so tremendous. Uh, we were able to get the servers finally updated so the app can carry a lot more traffic now. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, partners. It took a lot to build this app, and now we have an app that is ours, and we could talk about stuff without any hindrance. And so, partners, you did that. Thank you. And we're, we're only increasing it, taking it further. But please download this at the, your favorite app store. And of course, get on the text to join list so we can talk about more of this so you know what to do, where we're going. So you text the keyword join to 719-719-3637. And this is how we communicate with you no matter what. If there's censorship, the more of you that are on here, we can reach out to you and we can go ahead and get a hold of you and you can come right to wherever we are. And I'll tell you, there's about 25,000 people that have joined this and it's growing rapidly. Please become one of them. Text the keyword join from your cell phone in your text message to this number and we'll be uh, together on there doing a lot and sharing insights 
that we just can't share here. And it's important that we share this stuff with you. So this is what's going on. This is what you see happening in the world. I want to look right at you, please. I want to look at you today. Here's what's going on. There is this word I have called Decapolis. And I, I'm going to go into this again because I have a lot of things I want to go towards that are very beneficial and prophetic. Let me go to the prophetic sense I have about this. Let's talk about this. So first of all, I see the word. You see this. Let's say this represents the nation, okay? This represents our nation. This is what's going on here. This represents our fences. Okay? We're seeing this scenario here, our fences. We got fences here. Okay? There's just fences. If you get my meaning by fences. So we have all this going on and it should be a protection narrative. But what has taken place is with the Manchurian candidate who wanders around with his ice cream and, you know, Easter Bunny GPS system wandering across the lawn. Oh, look at the pretty balloons going over the nation and all this stuff. And, you know, I mean, uh, come on, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's, it's real. You're seeing all this kind of honestly just horrifying behavior from leadership and those that are in power allowing these things and even sympathizers towards stupid on the other side, which should be for us, uh, meaning on our side of things. And they're standing kind of somewhat sympathetically in favor uh, with a lot of people that should be pushing back against these agendas. And finally, we've got a speaker that'll stand up a little bit. And we're looking at these pictures. And yet all of this is just being allowed, as it seems, by all these sympathizers with wickedness. And so what has happened is they're allowing open things to take place. They're allowing it in a variety of ways and from different nations that don't like us very much. You're seeing all of this happen and you're seeing all of these horrible inroads, right? You're seeing horrible inroads and you say, what is this all about? Well, you're seeing a flow. You're seeing these things come in from a variety of areas because they're saying, well, they're not open. They're, they're really not open, but they really are open. And you're seeing people come in from places that don't like us very much. These are not women and children out here. You're seeing places that don't like us very much. They say things like, you know, let's just wish that this nation was no longer here. And they're beginning to come across the, the border. And they're, you're seeing where this is going. Now, in this setting, with where we are, there are now, all over the place, as she just described. that are absolutely set on doing nefarious destruction all at the same time. These are little fires, okay? Fires that they want to begin to cause take place in various arenas all at the same time. And you say, what in the world are you talking about? Well, the prophets are starting to really say this, and I'm so grateful to that because I'm bearing witness to it because we've also seen this for some years now. And this is that word we've talked about many times. I'll just write it here, but it's the word meaning 10. I'm going to put the word or we'll even go beyond this. And I'll just be careful how I say this, but uh, there's going to be more that happens with There's going to be that. Um, there's going to be that. And it's, it's horrible what we're seeing there. But I believe there's going to be these things happening. And you say, what is that? It's, it's talking about this. Okay? You're going to see more and more of this kind of thing happening and all of it. There's going to be acts. One way or another in all these areas. Now, again, as I'm saying this, uh, I, I, I see these things happening and you just see the fire. You know, there is a, a exposure and a judgment that's happening and it's beginning in the house of God. Okay? That's something you're seeing. If it starts here, get ready, nation. 
because this exposure we've prophesied is beginning and we're going to see more and more of it. Okay? And I just, I pray and I have, I have kindness in my heart towards this. I'm not, you know, never a critical spirit ever. But I, I pray, you know, Galatians 6 over people that are getting exposed and things that are coming out and, and all that. But listen, there's that. But then the second go around here is there's not just judgment in the house of God, but it starts there and then it goes to, honestly, the world and the nations. It's that Hebrews 12 thing. Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. It's coming now. Okay? But you don't have to fear this stuff. When I'm talking about it, this is not a fear-based scenario, as we always say and Rick says. This is not meant to scare you. It's meant to prepare you. But there's a shaking going on. So the adversary is coming in. You see this happening. And this is not just the U.S., by the way. There's more nations that this is taking place. But I do see this. I like to call it the red church and we can call it the remnant. You can call it whatever. But I see the red church rising up in the middle of this, in the middle of chaos, in the middle of the storm, being a leading voice that just stands up and rises and shines in the dark time and begins to sincerely push back. I see this stuff. I believe the spirit of the Lord is causing there to be an uprising and a pushback against all this nefarious activity. The red church just pushing back and you see that light shining in darkness and it's saying no to this. And I'm telling you, there's a revival coming even in the middle of this evil, Terry type of nasty that's taking place. And there's going to be this. And these ones here, I do sense this. There is a moment that there will be apprehension of these things should another figure that I keep seeing rise stand up at the right time. Now, I'm hoping it's not an unrighteous figure, but I, I keep seeing a powerful figure rise. And Lord, help us. It's not Newsom or somebody else or, you know, the other lady or guy, whatever it is that, uh, anyway, I'll leave that alone. But you realize th that these things are coming. And I saw this happening, that there would also be a time of expelling of these things back out. Throwing them out, okay? Throwing them out throwing them back out of where they came from and saying, get out. I see that happening also. So there's much to be considered here. I see another wave of victory, another wave and light shining in darkness. But the Lord is not going to leave us. He's not going to leave us, nor is he going to forsake us. And it's a serious day we're living in. It's a serious time. But Jesus is Lord in the middle of the storm. Listen, I had a word back in 2020 about a turn in the storm. I'm beginning to think this is the storm. This is the storm. That there's a nation rising against nation. But listen, there will be another day. And I want to say to you, this is not the end. It's not the end. It's not the end. I want to talk right at you again here for a moment. Let me talk to you. Let me look at you. I want to look right at you. Because the Lord's going to continue to make a way for you. Not, now, I have a little more to show you. And it's very important. I have a, a clip uh, by by one of our government leaders named Kennedy. And he's talking and he begins to talk about this exact issue I'm dealing with right now. And I think it's very important that you begin to hear this. He begins to break some of this down. So please watch intently the way he questions and the conclusions they come to. And you're just going to realize that this is all on purpose. That's my takeaway. But I, wanna, I want you to see this. It's, it's a couple minutes long. I want you to, to listen to this because it's important to hear the way these people are responding with all this nonsense that's going on. Let's take a look at this as he questions these individuals about our fences, so to speak. Since President Obama has been president, uh, how many non-American citizens have come into our country illegally or on the basis of a claim of asylum? Thank you, Senator. Um, HSI is an investigative agency. Is uh, how, how, Do you know the number? No, Senator. You're a senior member of Homeland Security, are you not? That's correct. Does anybody know the number? None of you know the number. Nobody knows. Try 8 million. 8 million. Now, of that 8 million, how many were children, Mr. Moran? I don't have that number. You don't know. Does anybody know? 
None of you know. Isn't that special? Isn't that special? Let's assume half. Okay. Eight million is four Nebraskas. Right? Four Nebraskas. That's how many people have come in. Four Nebraskas. And these are not people coming here to wrap Christmas gifts. There's a whole lot of men, and they've got some nefarious plans. And we just talked about it, but let's, I just want you to get a feel for this. Let's keep, let's keep listening. This is really important. Four new states. Let's assume, I don't think it's as high, half of them are children. How many of, the, how many of those eight million people are still here? Do any of you know? Okay. Okay. Um, how many? How many of those eight million are claiming asylum? You don't know. How many of them claim asylum and don't show up for their hearing? Nobody knows. How many of them claim asylum, don't show up for the hearing, and President Biden has deported them? You don't know? You don't know? How, how many of them have claimed asylum, shown up for their asylum hearing, and been denied asylum, and been deported? You don't know. These are our protection agencies. How many of them were from Mexico? You don't know. How about... 30%. That means 70% were not, right? Surely you know the answer to that. 30% minus 100% is 70%. Am I right? Okay. 30% came from Mexico. Why don't you implement a safe third country policy that says this is good. under asylum... Under our asylum rules, you have to seek asylum in the first safe country. So if you come, say, from Venezuela or, or now, Nicaragua. Now, in a moment, you're going to hear an amazing admission. He, the, the other guy even admits. You hear an admission where he says basically, well, oh, yes, it, it would. But let's just, this is unbelievable. And you're going to find probably the same conclusion I'm going to share with you. You'll realize what's actually happening. Let's continue. Or, or, or another Central American company country you have to seek asylum in your in the first safe country why don't you do that and then that would eliminate 70 percent of the 8 million that's 5.6 million why don't you do that mr Morant? is that a question sir yes that's all me. i've been asking are questions that's beyond the purview of HSI. Oh, okay. How about you, Mr. Salazar? You're a former advisor to the vice president. How come we don't do a safe third country agreement? Sir, we're working with our partners in the region. 21 countries signed on to the Los Angeles Declaration. Have you done a safe third country agreement? You've had, what have you been at it, two years? What we are doing is working with them to expand legal pathways. Why doesn't President Biden get up in the morning tomorrow and say, we're changing the asylum process and we're doing what most other countries do, safe third country policy. You have to seek asylum. We support asylum. We have to seek asylum in the first safe country. That would eliminate 5.6 million people. Boom. Done. Boom. Coming into our country illegally, wouldn't it? Sir, I just want to point out Washington. Wouldn't it? It, it would, sir, but there are... Okay. See that? He had to admit it. He, had, he admitted it. It was an admission, but let's, let's continue. Let me ask you this, because I'm going to run out of time. President Biden and all of you believe in open borders, don't you? Don't you? I mean, I ask really basic questions. There are, I don't mean any disrespect. I appreciate you being here. And, and I know you all love our country, as we all do. <laughs> but I big, believe in Big question in, mark on that straight, one. Big question mark answers and breakfast food and there are only one two possibilities here 
either President Biden and his team believe in open borders or the people that the president has put in charge of the immigration policy of this country are not qualified to manage a food truck. <laughs> it's true. They're not qualified. And nobody's that incompetent. It's you, intentional. You folks believe in open borders, don't you? Sir, I think we believe in secure borders. You believe in open You don't even know how... Well, I'm going to take 30 more seconds. You don't even know how many people have come in illegally since President Biden has been president. You're a former senior advisor and the vice president of the United States, Mr. Salazar. And you can't even give me a number. No, sir. That's like going to an oncologist and asking him, what's cancer? And he says, I don't know. Give me a break. That's a good way to say it. Give me a break. You got to realize something here. They do believe in it. They do believe in it. They believe in no fences. They believe in, hey, let them in. Let them do whatever. And that's what we're dealing with. And this is the issue we're facing. And suddenly we're here. And so when we're praying, it is, man, let me look right at you. Let me look at you. I want you to join me in prayer for a moment. I sense so much trouble trying to manifest in this land, so much of it. And yet I feel this sense of confrontation from light against darkness. And the Lord needs the cooperation of his people. He needs your cooperation. He needs you and I, free moral agents that stand up for the truth. But I sense it right now. I sense it right now. I hear these words. Man. I hear these words in my spirit. I'm going to convey them to you. You discern it. You pray. Even as storm clouds and gloomy dark clouds begin to rise in the land, and as smoke billows in various places and seasons and these cells of mechanized origin begin to be revealed, concealed, and revealed yet again, and then suddenly destruction. I say unto you, there will be many who are captured, caught, stopped, intervened, and much light will also shine in the midst of this darkness. There is, I hear this in my spirit, there is a spiritual and physical siege coming against the land right now. It wants to manifest, and it's coming now. It's here. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I say unto you, do not listen to the falsified voices who say, all is well, have no fear. No, nothing will in no any way happen here. But I say unto you, darkness will try to shine its evil. Darkness will try to bring out its contemptuous wickedness on the land. And evil will manifest. But I say unto you, those that fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in its wings for this land, for this time, for this hour. For I have anointed you salt and light that preserves this place. And I say I've hidden. I have hidden, even at this time, 7,000 more that have not bowed the knee to the Babylonian system, that have not bowed the knee to darkness, that have not bowed the knee to this wicked desensitizing of our youth and our generation. This Antichrist agenda has not overcome the land yet. But I say unto you, there are many that have the spirit of might and the face of the lion. And in the time of the face of the lion, in the time of those that fear the Lord, a book of remembrance is being written of them. And there is an anointing, I hear this so strongly, to break the back of hell's economy. To break the back of hell's economy. To stop this nefarious agenda, to cripple you financially, I say no to that. To try to cripple your health, I say no to that. To try to stop your children, I say no to that. 
There is a spirit of might and a way-making anointing that will rise up in the middle of this present evil time. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I'm seeing sands over in the east. I'm seeing the sands. I'm seeing oil in the ground. I'm seeing fires trying to rise and then being capped. And then I'm seeing more and more fights and battles over the oil once again. When they say, climate... And they surely say, no, green. And they say this, and they say the other. The Lord says unto you clearly, there will be another fight over the oil. And the tumultuous conflict and collisions at sea that will now begin. I see Taiwan. I see the red dragon. I see these areas. And the great change that is now coming to the hammer and sickle, the great change. I say unto you, many that once stood strong and proud and tall will find themselves on their knees and they will also find themselves gone. Even the mighty will stumble at this time. And I say my remnant has not been fully seen yet. It shall rise. There are many more just like you. Many more. Many more. This is strange. I'm seeing something. I'm going to share this with you. I don't always have these moments, but I'm having it right now. It's like there's an area being dug into. You got to bear with me. I'm sensing something here. I'm seeing this in my, my heart and my mind. And when I get this Holy Spirit unction, I start to see things. And I see as if it were soil being removed. And there is a capsule in the ground. I would want to say it's a time capsule. It's being raised up and opened. And in it is revelatory information about what comes next. Hidden, concealed, revealed, and hidden information opened prematurely. And plans of wickedness are discovered. I say unto you, the capsule will be found. And then a man of Asian descent will begin to arise and speak and his voice will come forward and his voice will be smooth and yet sharp and razor-like communication. And there will come a new, wow, a new wave that begins to come through and a new form of communication and a new form of avenue that will begin to manifest and many will say, good, good, but I say unto you, treachery, deceit, double standard, a hidden veil, but more will be revealed. And my strength will rise, and my righteous one with light in their eyes will begin to manifest past this hour. I have preserved you, and I will preserve you again. And there shall come a time where hell's economy is broken, and strength will rise one more round. Do not fear, I have provided for you already. I'm providing for you even now and already. When you see the rumbling and the shaking and the collapsing, I say unto you, you will rise. You will be sustained. You will come through it. And the hour of victory and breakthrough is with you. But make no mistake, there will be very challenging times. For the rain it falls on the just and the unjust alike. But you will outrun your enemy even in the rain. Prepare. Make ready. For I am with you and I am coming soon. I hear that in my heart. I hear him saying I'm coming soon. I want to pray for you. I, I need to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Right before I do, please 
you know, we, we have so many people that join us. There's so many, we're reaching so many, and I'm so grateful to you who are here. You find us every day, regardless of what's going on. And thank you for sharing this right now. It's so vital that you do. But I'm going to pray for you. And here's what I'd ask you to do. Please consider watching these next 60 seconds. And maybe, maybe you want to stand with us. You know, I share this every time because of the the scammers out there and different people and, and I get into this, but I want to give you an opportunity to stand with this vision so we can go forward together. Please watch this very brief clip and then I'm going to be right back to pray with you and share more. I have a sense in my heart today. Please, if you would watch this and I'll be right back. Please don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Well, I am so thankful you're here. You know, this ministry is expanding. We are growing and it is to the glory of the Lord. And I wanna say something to every partner here, whether you are a recent partner or been with us a very long time. From the bottom of our heart, thank you. Partners, because of you, we're taking territory, we're building new media all the time, we're advancing, we're putting out written materials and giving away content all over the world. And we're so grateful to you for it. You send us on journeys that cost nothing to the people who are bringing us in. And I want to say simply to you, thank you. Now, if you want to join our partner family and you're watching, I encourage you to do so today. You go to josephz.com or you can text the keyword GIVE to 719-259-0029. If you join our partner family, you're going to hear from us. We will love on you. We will pray for you. We will stand with you over all your dreams and your visions. And I'm telling you what, Heather and I, we constantly are praying for our partners. So please consider, if you're on the fence, join the partner family and let's do this thing together, both in prayer and generosity. We believe that God is going to make all your purpose, destiny, and dreams come to pass. We're standing with you for it. So thank you for considering partnering with us today. Again, you go to josephz.com. We have a lot of territory to take and we wanna do it together. God bless you. Remember, on a bad day, you're the best there is, and you are called to be and shine the light in darkness. I'll see you again next time right here as we continue bringing a now word of the Lord. God bless you. Okay, I want to show you one more thing as well, but here, here's what I want to say to you. I'm going to pray for you in just a moment, but please, if you would, look at this with me. Um, we have an update about the, the building. I just want to show this to you. You know, it's, um, the, we have more to show you in uh, short order here, but I want you to see this. This is what we're calling the World Broadcast Center. You've probably seen this before in some of our clips, but we're really advancing and we're taking some ground here and the Lord is helping us. This place is going to be where we do media, news media, special broadcasts, live things, and pre-recorded uh, 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 videos for media and television. And so I'm believing God's calling us to expand. I was recently in a wonderful meeting and a, a, a prophet of God looked at me and said, your app is going to have 100,000 people on it in no time. They didn't even know we had an app. They began to share with me many things about the anointing and the breath of God on our media. And the breath of God is here. And there's going to be a prophetic uprising that happens to this, this ministry. There's going to be media, discipleship through media, and reaching a million for a billion. This is what we're doing. This is how we're going to do it. A million for a billion, reaching a million people, a million clear-eyed, clear-minded disciples through media that we can raise up or call in a billion soul harvest. A million for a billion is going to happen, and this is step one. Phase one is the World Broadcast Center. 20-foot ceilings. We're going to build a magnificent studio, and here we have another studio. We're going to be adding into this place podcast areas, all of it. And I'm so grateful to you partners who've helped us do it. And if you want to become a partner and help support what we're doing, Please do so again today. I know we're talking about this, but I, I have such an urgency in my heart. If you've ever thought about doing it and you're on the fence, now's the time. Please do it. 719-259-0029. Thank you. And if you can't, you're just here to pray with us. If you uh, are simply viewing and you're here, we're here for you. That's why we have partners. So we can stand with you. We love you no matter what. And you are valuable to us. But if you're able to and you have the means to do it, Please consider prayerfully what God's calling you to do. Maybe you're a God-called, God-sent partner to stand with this ministry. Thank you so much. Now, let me look right at you because I want to pray with you today. Lord, I bless my friend. 
I bless all of us today as you're watching. We're together. We're here in real time. I just speak the life of God over you right now. Right now. The Lord is making a way where there's been no way in your heart, in your life. And I'm telling you, Jesus is Lord in the middle of all this adversity. Some of you are dealing with family issues. You're dealing with a crisis. You're dealing with financial woes. You're going through all these things. And I'm telling you, God is making a way for you to break out from this setting. There's a great peace that's upon you and you will not miss the high call of God. He's with you at this time. There is victory. It was dark in Egypt, but I'm telling you, it is light in Goshen. It was light in Goshen. You are the light in Goshen because Christ in you, the hope of glory is here. I encourage you, even as I'm praying for you, to, to get a hold of the book, Servants of Fire. It's a prophetic book. I wrote it for you. Breaking Hell's Economy and Servants of Fire. These books, you can get them at josephz.com. They're prophetic books to help you and arm you for what we're dealing with at this time. The Lord's making a way for you. The Lord's making a way for you. I speak increase to you in the name of Jesus right now. There's pain. I see physical pain just being expelled from your body right now. Light is shining right now in you, in your life. He's never going to leave you and he's never going to forsake you. He's your sun and shield. And I got to tell you, God is with you. Man, we... Our ministry, we love you. You know our call team, when people partner here, they, they are part of things. Our call team reaches out to you, and we have people crying on the phone, uh, meaning our people are crying because they get to pray with you. We love you. Don't you be discouraged for one second. As a matter of fact, let's, let's stay in touch. I encourage you to get on this text to join list. The text to join list, you, you text the keyword join. On your phone, you take your phone, open up your text message, you text the word JOIN to 719-719-3637, and you send the number JOIN or the, the word JOIN to that number on your phone, and you're going to become part of our text to join family, and that means roughly every week you're going to receive a text from us that either is a special now word, a live link to something we're doing in real time, that it comes to your phone, you click it, and we can all come together. And I'll tell you, the Joseph Z app, you got to download that because if you're overseas or you're not able to work with the text to join, download the Joseph Z app and you'll get updates and announcements right from your app as well. I encourage you to go to your favorite app store, download this app. We have, man, massive amounts of people downloading this app and it's becoming like a community. A lot of people are a part of this, and I encourage you to do that today. And we text sometimes and tell you to join us on the app or other things for special briefings or special updates or special disclosures that you're not going to get here because we simply can't say it. But I encourage you to do that. Get the Joseph Z app. Man, you want that. On your phone, on your devices, and text that word join. And I'm just, I bless you today in Jesus' name. I hear this word over your life. No evil will befall you, nor any plague come near your dwelling. No plague. Because they're going to try to induce another one, some other form of it. I'm going to be talking on uh, full disclosure soon about some of the things they're doing even to our animals and how it's causing difficulty in their lives and, you know, hitting them with the Mark of the Beast precursor practice serum for them. It's just terrible, the stuff they're trying to push on the culture right now. Jesus is Lord. I have so much hope, even though we're talking about this wild stuff, I have so much hope for the future, for you. Hear me right now. On a bad day, you are anointed to be the best there is. Evil slays the wicked. It does not come near you, nowhere near you, or your family, or your future. Whatever station in life you're at, whether you're alone, married, single, elderly, maybe you're at home alone and you can't do any more than watch this. Maybe you're young and, and single and looking for a, a marriage, or, or maybe not even that. Maybe you're on an adventure. Maybe you're in school. Maybe you have children, little children, adult children. Wherever you are in this process, maybe you're divorced and we love you. Wherever you're at, maybe you're sick and in bed. We're here for you. We love you. 
And I'm going to be here live every single weekday morning, 7 a.m. Colorado time, and 8 a.m. Saturday, Sunday, weekend time, meaning Colorado time on the weekends. I encourage you to keep joining because I'm going to be here for you. I take it serious. It's a calling to be here with you. No matter what goes on in the world, we're going to be here. God willing, as I have the grace to do it, I will continue to be here every day. I plan to be here with you every day. I'm going to be here. We ain't leaving you. Partners, thank you. We're reaching so many people. Thank you. I bless you today in Jesus' name. I speak life over you, victory over you, no fear, boldness. On the day of adversity, you're bold. Because on a bad day, you're anointed to be the very best there is. And remember this, a man or woman with a revelation is not at the mercy of a culture gone mad. And you have a revelation because Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Well, I bless you. And if nobody's told you, we love you here. We love you. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for your support. Thank you for standing with us. And even if it's through prayer or just viewing, we love you. Please subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe to the Rumble channel. Download the Joseph Z app. We have so much more to do. Share this video everywhere. And I'm going to see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. We're going red in the blood. I'll see you then. Bye, everyone.